guys, welcome back. This will be the third installment of Baseball Math. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and ask you my baseball question. I'm gonna give you a example and then have you try it out on your own. So my question is, I wanna know how far does a catcher have to throw the ball down to second base to catch that runner uh, when he's trying to steal. So I did hear from a couple people in the first videos. I heard from Jacob and Carter and Riley, along with also Abby and Liam. So thanks to all those guys. So some of the questions we got answered earlier was the infield where it connects the bases actually makes a square. Now my picture, it's still gonna look kind of like a rhombus because it's tilted. But this is actually going to be a perfect square. So, and some of you got this right, that if I have a square, these are going to be right angles, which are 90 degrees each. 90 degrees each. So, and some of you told me that the distance from home to first in a major lake park is 90 feet. And in a little lake field, it's 60 feet. Well, for my example... I'm going to use 60, and then when we ask you, I'm going to ask you to find it out for a major league park. So I'm going to go ahead and write in here that if I'm running from home to first, that'll be 60 feet. Then that runner trying to steal second from first to second has to go 60 feet. And if I kept going, they're all four going to be the same. That would be 60 feet, and that would be 60 feet. Okay, so I'm going to ask my camera person here we're going to answer a couple questions if i'm throwing this ball from this catcher's throwing that ball down here and we want to figure out how far they're throwing that but if i throw that ball and i cut this square diagonally what shape did i just make i made two what two right triangles two triangles and you're right it is a right triangle because there's a 90 degree angle so that's called a right triangle and that's really important because there's someone really smart a long time ago named Pythagoras. Now we talked about this at the very beginning of the year. Pythagoras. I think I spelled that wrong. Oh, because I was looking for Pythagorean. Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so Pythagoras... He made this thing called the Pythagorean Theorem, and it's used with right triangles. And it, what it says is if I know two sides of a triangle, I can always figure out the third side. And we're going to call the two smaller sides, he called legs. And he said, we'll make them either A or B. And then he said, the longest side, he gave that a special name. It's always directly across from the right angle. He called that a hypotenuse. H-Y-P-O-T-E-N-U-S-E. -E. He said the hypotenuse, or the longest side, is always has to be C. It does not matter which one's called A or B, which one of the legs. doesn't matter. Even if they were different amounts, doesn't matter. The hypotenuse has to be C for it to work, though. So, the way we figure this out, his, he gave us a formula. And the formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? So I know we talked about squaring things at the beginning of the year, some. In other words, you multiply that number by itself. So let's just make first base here, 60 squared, or A. We'll make this one. It doesn't matter, they're both 60. So 60 squared plus 60 squared is going to equal our C squared. So we need to take 60 times 60 to get that first number. The way I like to do this is just ignore the zero. 6 times 6 is 36. And in 60, I'm going to have two zeros. So add the two zeros. They're both going to be the same thing. So we're left with 3,600 plus 3,600 equals C squared. Add them together. Well, 36 and 36 makes 72. And then put our zeros. So 7,200 equals C squared. Well, that's not 7,200 feet. No, because I don't want C squared. I want C. So... I had taught you earlier in the year, if we want to get rid of addition, we need to do the opposite, subtract. If we want to get rid of subtraction, we do the opposite and add. Get rid of multiplication, we divide. Get rid of division, we multiply. So we have to do the opposite. Well, what's the opposite of squaring something? That's taking its square root. 
So we want to take the square root of 7,200. Now, hopefully your calculator has a square root button. You type in square root 7,200, hit enter. And that's going to tell us what number you multiply by itself to get 7,200. We talked about small ones this year, like the square root of 81 would be 9, because 9 times 9 is 81. Now, this one is not going to be an exact number. So if I press that into my calculator, I get about, you should get about 84.85 feet. So, little leg kid has to throw the ball about almost 85 feet from home to second base. So hopefully you can follow this formula and your challenge is to instead of use the little leg dimensions, do the same thing but change these to your 90 feet for Major League Baseball. And I want you to figure out how far would Mike Lavalier had to have thrown the ball from home to second. Or even anyone, when I was playing hot stove, playing high school, it's also 90 feet. So anyone above low leg, how far would the catcher have to throw the ball? Well, I look forward to hearing your responses. And uh, please leave your responses either in the comments, please like and share, or just email it to me and I'll get your results. And uh, we'll check your work in the final video. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys. Bye.